Welcome to Get to Plugins tutorial series. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can replace WooCommerce Variation Select dropdown into button or label swatches. I'm assuming you have already variable product created in your store. If you don't have any variable product created yet, this tutorial is not for you. Leave this video right away. Find a video with a title How to Add Product Variation in WooCommerce with Button Swatches from Scratch. For your convenience, I have added the video link in the description below. To turn your existing variation from Product Attribute Select dropdown into Button Swatches, head to the Attributes from Product Settings. Here in the Attribute screen, you can see all globally created product attributes listed alphabetically. But wait, if you don't find any attribute listed here, but you have many of variable products in your store, it means you have created product variations manually. In this case, this tutorial is not for you as well. Find another tutorial in this page with the title How to Create Button Swatches for Manually Created Product Attribute Variations. For your convenience, I have added the video link in the description below. Now get back to the tutorial. Before editing attributes for label swatches, I am going to open a product that is connected with the attribute that I am going to modify. In this screen, you can notice I have pattern attribute with black, blue and green variations. Head to the attribute list. Find the global attribute that is connected with your product. For my end, it's pattern attribute. When you find your desired attribute, check its type. For my pattern attribute, you can notice that the default select type is currently assigned. Our goal is to change default attribute type from select to button. To modify your attribute type, select edit link beneath the attribute that you want to modify and then change its type from select to button. Save the settings and get back to the global attribute list. Now you can notice that label type is assigned for my pattern attribute. Let's get back to the product front end to see how it looks currently. Now you can see all variation for my product have its identical beautiful buttons. So hopefully you have find this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and stay connected.